Recently, I went away for a week in the Highlands at the Grand Tarms, known as the Wildlife Hotel, and I have to say I really enjoyed it. One of the species I was very keen to see was a Highland speciality, the Crested Tit. At the start of the week, I also put out a trail cam in the woods, not really knowing what might show up, so we'll check in on this at the end. Despite popular belief, you can find crested tits in other places than Loch Garton, though I will admit I'm guilty of going there for a bit of cold tit fondling myself. Crested tits, for some reason, are restricted to the ancient Caledonian pine forest and Scotch pine plantations. Weirdly, however, in continental Europe, they're found in a wide range of habitats and in deciduous woodland. I set up near some established bird feeders and without a doubt this will make it easier to see and photograph them, especially in the winter. Now I have no issue with baiting, but you don't want a feeder or piles of seed in shot, so I put a stick out in the hope that they'll land on it before the feeder and also a rock below to try and get a more natural shot. Well, the lighting is absolutely terrible today, even for Scotland in the winter in a forest. It's pretty damn dark. I'm struggling with my long lens, which is why I'm laying it down on the ground to help with some of the shutter speeds. It makes Mordor look like Benidorm today. Fucking awful. It's not long before another Highland species takes an interest. There's also a squirrel feeder here, which the local red squirrels use quite frequently and are fairly used to people. They don't hibernate, so they need to eat throughout the winter to keep up fat reserves for colder times. I've probably been here about an hour and a half, so not that long. And crested tits are one of those birds that they can show up like that, or you can wait all day and see none. If I had to guess, I'd probably say it's not quite cold enough. It's still pretty mild. I mean, I'm not really wearing thick weather gear, you know, and uh, I'm not cold. So I think if we had a bit more of a frost, that might put the cresses on the feeders. I've no doubt they're around, but they're not coming down to the feeders at the minute, but we'll persevere. Seeing the red squirrel, so that's great. Never a bad day when you see a red squirrel. When using the sticks, one tip I'd give is make sure you change it or focus on other branches. Otherwise, you'll end up with a portfolio of images of the same stick. The red squirrel came round onto the bird feeders and then actually landed on the stick in front of me. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised that these things work. I can't believe that worked. That was great. A little brown bird turned up also, a tree creeper. Now people often say the way to tell the difference between a tree creeper and a nut hatch is that the tree creeper goes up the tree and the nut hatch goes down the tree. However, I'd like to make the point that they look nothing like each other and one is bloody blue. If you're confusing these two, go to the local opticians. I've never seen one close up, and despite its brown colouring, thought it was quite a pretty bird. Another mammal turned up, a lost dog. The schnauzer came in for a quick fuss, then went back to its owner in its own time. Two more hours passed, and I packed the camera away, and naturally, the crested tit decided to turn up. It didn't hang around for long, and only on the feeder, but at the very least, I got to see the bird I came for. I picked the trail cam up and got an interesting mix, including a nocturnal red squirrel, plenty of dogs, one tip for future reference, don't use dog biscuits as bait, a roe deer passed by, and even a person who decided to look at the camera but thankfully not nick it. Lots of mice turned up, and that attracted this stunning tawny owl which caught one of them, so it wasn't a waste of time putting it out. The pine martins and wildcats will have to wait till next time. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of my shoots like this, comment below and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thanks for watching. You can check out some other videos in the links here. Also check out my website and social media, as well as the podcast that I host, the Bearded Tits Podcast. Cheers.